Francis provides various types of user assistance as you work in the AIM interface. User assistance comes in a variety of forms, some as visual cues, such as colors and icons, some as messages, and others that combine both. Combinations of colors, icons, and messages provide feedback concerning the current state of a task or object. The feedback is shown in the top of the data panel as a combination of labels, icons, and color. Items in red, yellow, and green are used to grab attention. For example, up to date means everything's good, which is why it's green and there's a check mark. Attention required means something's wrong, it's red, and the icon is an exclamation point. Out of date means something needs to be updated, and the yellow cautionary color is used with a lightning bolt icon. Blue is also used to suggest actions that you should do next, such as solve physics or update. And it's also used to suggest adding an object that is currently missing. Messages appear throughout the AIM interface to provide you with timely information about your actions. Messages in white are informational notes used to proactively inform you of a consequence of an input or how inputs will be interpreted during an update. Messages in yellow are warnings indicating that a property or expression references an object or property that still requires attention. In some cases, the expression cannot be evaluated until the referenced object or property is fixed. Messages in light red indicate that a property value is either missing or not yet defined, or a property value is invalid, or that an expression is invalid. Messages and corresponding icons are displayed at the bottom of the data panel and provide feedback when there's a conflict, or an object with incomplete inputs, or when there's one or more missing required objects, or if there's an error. The complete list of all messages is shown in the Messages view, where you can see them all at the same time. Links to affected objects are conveniently provided for each message, enabling you to easily navigate to the problem area right from the view. Tooltips provide brief descriptions of a label or control to get a hint about its meaning or function, you simply hover your mouse over the label or control in the AIM interface. Field Level Help provides decision-making guidance for a field with a more detailed description of the field and how best to use it. Hovering over a field will display a question mark symbol that you can then select to display a brief description of the field. Links within the Field Level Help will take you directly to details in the online documentation provided by the Help Viewer and will open in a separate window. Context Help provides information about the current panel that is displayed in the data panel. Information typically includes a brief description of what the panel is for and what you generally need to do within the panel. Links are added to give you access to additional related information such as videos, tasks, and background details. When a related video link is selected, the video plays in a separate window. When a related topic link is selected, the topic is opened in the Help Viewer. The Context Help panel will continue to show the information about the data panel even after you navigate to a different panel, so you can continue referring to it as needed. When you want to update the Context Help to show information about a new panel, just click the Help button at the top of the panel and the text will refresh. The Help Viewer provides you with access to the full collection of AIM documentation. You can open the Help Viewer by clicking on the button in the upper right-hand corner of the AIM interface. The Help Viewer is sometimes minimized, so you should look for it in your toolbar. Information includes background and task topics and is generally organized according to the main categories of the workflow, such as geometry, meshing, physics, and results. The search feature enables you to enter keywords and zero in on the topic of interest. The Help Viewer contains the documentation for any installed ANSYS product, so your queries will provide you with the results from all products, and you can filter them to just show the results for AIM. This concludes this overview of the various types of user assistance available in ANSYS AIM.